We all knew that AI art was shallow, but now we know a little bit more about why. I've just read a paper called The Generative AI Paradox, published by researchers from the University of Washington. It provides a serious scientific investigation of a big problem of generative AI as a whole. As someone who does art but also works in AI research, I found this paper incredibly insightful and drew a big insight from it that I think is going to allow my art to resist the waves of AI to come. In this video, I'd like to share this knowledge with you guys, so that especially the young artists among you will gain confidence in facing the future of art. Part 1. Do they understand anything? So, current generative models like Midjourney or ChatGPT take only seconds to produce outputs that could challenge experts with years of skill and knowledge. The AI hype people are liable to say that this is the end of the story, and that people who do stuff that AI has become good at will just have to find a new job. In my research lab, there is no such hype and people are pretty skeptical. That's why I think it's important to have a channel of information going straight from researchers to artists. But in the world at large, the AI hype has been sustained for the past two years, more recently with things like GPT-40, which was, in my opinion, mostly just an empty marketing stunt. Left and right, people are claiming that models have surpassed human intelligence, and in particular, that AI is better at making pictures than humans. But here are a few examples that should immediately make you question this premise. First example, the best models that exist today often struggle with basic tasks such as multiplication or counting the number of objects in an image. Second example, whether it be text generation or image generation, for the same prompt, sometimes you'll get a correct output and sometimes you'll get a wrong output. Third example, question answering systems often generate contradictory answers, whether it be about a text or about an image. Fourth example, text models like ChatGPT can generate correct facts, but also their negation. All right, so these are all feely assertions that aren't really backed by science, they're just intuitive. But in the paper that we're discussing today, there's a serious scientific investigation of the lack of understanding in generative AI compared to the impressive level of its generations. I'm not going to go into excruciating detail, but basically what they do is prompt models like GPT-4, Midjourney, etc. to generate outputs, and then they use the best AI models that exist today to answer questions about these AI-generated outputs. This allows them to check whether or not AI can understand the things that it itself has created. And since they do this automatically, they can run this many, many times on many, many different images and questions and do statistics from it. So now they have a measure of the degree to which AI understands its own generation, and they want to compare that to humans. And so they do the same thing with people, and then compare the numbers between humans and AI. And you end up with plots like this, where human performance is in orange and all the others are AI. Now that's a cool finding for us artists. And even more impressive is that the humans in this study are not experts. They're not experts about art or writing. And even though they could never generate the outputs that AI does with Midjourney, for instance, they still understand these outputs much, much, much better. With actual professional humans, the results would likely go even further in the human direction. So that's exciting, but let's dive deeper into this generative AI paradox and see what it means concretely for us artists. What kinds of precise insights can we draw from it? Part 2. How it is for us humans. One thing I keep going on about on this channel is the tunnel vision aspect of AI. It optimizes a perfectly defined mathematical objective and does nothing else at all. This leads to the insight that for AI, generation doesn't depend on understanding for the most part. This contrasts with us, for whom basic understanding almost always precedes the ability to generate expert level outputs. That is, in order to create something, we have to understand it. We study anatomy and get better at drawing figures. We study light and get better at rendering trees. We study our tools and get better at rendering textures. With AI, it seems like there's a way of getting good textures without understanding any kind of tools, getting good trees without understanding lights, and getting good figures without understanding anatomy. That's what these results that we've just seen show. And this is a scientifically verified fact. So these kinds of ideas are also validated by results in the paper where there's a higher link between understanding and generating performance in humans than there is in AI. This means that in AI, understanding something doesn't necessarily mean you can generate it better. And generating something well doesn't mean you can understand it. And this is certainly not the case with humans. Part 3. So why are these models like this? 
the reason behind this sounds logical, but if you listen to the big hype uh, spokespeople in AI nowadays, they seem to try to deny this basic truth. The incentive, of course, for this probably being money. Generative models have been being trained directly to reproduce expert-like outputs, acquire generative capabilities that do not depend upon and can therefore exceed their ability to understand these same types of outputs. Simply put, training for generation gives you generation abilities, not understanding. So we artists feel threatened by these models because of their impressive outputs. But the findings in this paper suggest that these outputs are shallow, and probably this big flaw and this big generative AI paradox is going to prevent a lot of this stuff that people want to do with AI in the future. It will certainly be a big problem for those who want to try to get something special out of these models as they generate outputs that don't really match what the human is going for because these models don't understand what they're doing. And one last thing that I really wanted to show you guys because it's super insightful for artists is this. Workers often favor responses from GPT-4 over those generated by humans. The same applies for GPT-3.5. The rationales provided by humans often indicate a preference for GPT-4 due to longer response length and more elegant writing style and being more informative. While well, human choice is preferred for brevity and conciseness. Now this is super interesting because it tells us that because AI doesn't really have understanding and a purpose and anything that it's trying to communicate when it generates stuff, AI just keeps talking and it's elegant because it's mimicking expert outputs, but it actually isn't trying to communicate anything, so it just keeps talking, whereas humans have something to say, they say it, and they stop, which is why they're preferred for brevity and conciseness. All right then, the big insight for all young artists out there who want to capitalize on this edge that they have against AI is the following. You must insist on understanding in your arts, on your purpose. Think about it. Interpret things. Have a message that you refine instead of refining your rendering. AI is great at generating that is rendering, but it sucks at communicating. Your future lies in the second option. So this is a prime example. Uh, of the value of knowledge in a world of AI hype. I hope for you young artists out there, this video made you realize how hyped up and uncertain the field of AI really is. Because nothing has been decided yet, it's super important to keep ourselves updated. And in particular, we saw in this post that this intimidating intelligence is actually shallow and showy. If you're interested in more insight for artists coming straight from someone who does both AI research and art, subscribe to the ArtPost AI channel. And if you want to support the channel, you can watch the segment that's about to start. And if you're interested, check the link in the description. And I guess I'll see you guys next time. Perfection comes